you need the best-selling men's fragrances of 2024. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. The best-selling men's fragrances of 2024 actually look very similar to some of the prior years. Uh, a lot of these fragrances have been consistently best-selling and that says a lot about their fragrances, right? So uh, successful, etc. So let's go ahead and kick things off with a subscription. Hit that while we're ahead. But also I'll be interested to see how these lists change if they do change. These are more accessible lists by like Forbes and more popular uh, fragrances, etc. And what I plan on doing after this video is getting an actual list from a sales perspective. I'll be pretty interested to see how these lists stack up against actual sales reports from multiple sources. Let's go ahead and kick things off with the first fragrance on this list that has been for a long time and it's Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus is one of the most selling fragrances on the market today, not just Creed. And what do I think? I, I mean, I think it's a great fragrance. I do. But in the realm of so many fragrance clones, inspired buys, there are a lot of other better buys if you will. And in fact, I do have a few of those fragrances. Whether or not it's worth it genuinely comes down to the wearer. I mean, this is a fragrance where most of the sales I feel nowadays is people who walk in, they spray it on, they haven't really tested the longevity, etc. And they, they, you know, they think they have a really good fragrance. Is it a good fragrance? Absolutely, it's a good fragrance. But for me personally, I've got so many other fragrances that smell like this one. Uh, and I just personally would not purchase this one again. Understandable that it does sell like crazy it has a certain premium i mean it comes with the whole creed lineup if you're not a collector etc but a lot of people feel like they're getting something exclusive with this one and you might be in terms of like the presentation but you're not really taking the bottle out with you understandable that it is one of the top selling but for me personally i mean i've got a few fragrances like Ray hans imperia even mont blanc explorer club de nuit that do this style dna i wouldn't say better but i would say at a more affordable and reasonable cost so New Aventus, I get like this pineapple, birchy, not as smoky style DNA. The fragrance itself has changed significantly over the years. And now I get more so of like this dry down of woods and patchouli. So it starts off with some pineapple. It smells really good, but total longevity for me isn't anything outstanding. I get a, like an average performance at best. So around four to five hours total longevity. And the projection for this, I'd place it to moderate. So maybe about two to three feet. And that's pretty much it. In terms of the occasions for this, it is a fragrance that I personally would recommend you wear in seasons like the spring, summer, and maybe fall time, but that's pretty much it. And honestly, where you could wear it is everywhere. You could wear it to the gym, you could wear it to office meetings, dates even. But I mean, whether or not you wanna spray something this expensive, it's really up to you. So considering the price, performance, etc., I would say that there are better options, but it's very understandable why it is one of the best-selling fragrances. Moving on to the next bestseller is Blue de Chanel. Blue de Chanel smells like this fresh, clean, masculine. It's got a lot of citruses, maybe some woods, a touch of incense. It smells like a man who's jumped out of the shower and smells like cleanliness, basically. Simple as that. It's a bit more than that. Also has this blue vibe coming from some herbs or aromatics like lavender, etc. And this is a fragrance that actually performs. And the best performing one is the Eau de Parfum Concentration. It also resides somewhere in between the original Eau de Toilette with that fresh and zingy nature and right below something that's incensey and more woody based like the Parfum, making it the best of all worlds. For the longevity, I get about average even though it is a fresher fragrance it does have a bit of that dense base of those woods sandalwoods the incense etc giving me about eight hours uh, of total longevity in terms of the projection this is one that's going to be moderate for about the first hour and then lingering on for the rest or remainder of the fragrance occasions for this fragrance is going to be everywhere you could wear this literally everywhere and the seasons is also all season summer spring fall and winter there might be more appropriate seasons than the winter but if if you wanted to, you absolutely could signature scent this one easily. For the price, this has to be one of the most premium smelling blue fresh fragrances on the market even to today. So I totally understand why it's on this list. Might not be the most unique fragrance in the world, but it 100% makes sense. So the next fragrance is Spice Bomb, the original by Victor and Rolf. And this is kind of surprising to me, actually. The scent profile of this is peppery, it's woody, it's tobacco, and that's pretty much it. Pretty dry, masculine, and very 
pretty good, actually. You're gonna get above average performance of this one. I typically spray this on about six times. I don't really go any more than that just because of its extremely spiced nature. In terms of the actual projection though, it does project pretty highly. So you will be projecting more than three feet and potentially even leaving scent trails. In terms of the occasions, I would say that this is something you could wear when going out with the boys, potentially even going out to the office. Uh, maybe not so much when you're going on dates. It just doesn't have anything that's seductive to the fragrance, but it does have everything that's masculine about it. Seasons for this would be fall, winter, and earlier spring days. For the price, I definitely think that the Extreme is a better version of this fragrance. And the reason is, is it adds that hefty dose of vanilla, maybe taking a little bit down of that versatility, but this in itself isn't really the most versatile fragrance. Sure, I personally think you can wear it everywhere, but the Extreme just gives it that additional oomph, that just sexy factor, basically, that you can take to dates, you can take to special occasions. You can also take it to the office if you just spray it a little bit less. So if you're in the market looking for the best spice bomb, absolutely go with the Extreme. It's my favorite one. And that one was like my top most complimented for a very, very long time. This one kind of surprised me a little bit because of how much older it is than some of their more recent fragrances. It's one million. It's bubblegummy sweet. It's got this mandarin orange style DNA, maybe a little bit of leather, sweetness, some spices, really compliment fat. Like the compliment factor of this one is through the freaking roof. Performance of this one is above average. You're going to get something that lasts you the entire day. And the projection for this is high. It is absolutely high. More than two to three feet of projection, you're gonna be leaving scent trails and it works. In terms of the occasions, this is something you could wear everywhere. Just, you know, spray accordingly. Dates, gym, office. I've worn it everywhere and it's worked everywhere. And the seasons? It's pretty much every single season. May not be the best for like the highest of heat, but it works. I would personally say that if you're into this fragrance, check out the Elixir. The Elixir I feel is currently one of the best ones to date. Unpopular opinion would be the Golden Oud, which is my pick in terms of this DNA. It's a Middle Eastern exclusive. It's got Oud. It might be a little bit too animalistic for uh, you know popular opinion, if you will. And that's pretty much it. Moving on to the next one, very understandably so, was Angel Share by Killian. Quickly became one of the top sellers ones and it's because of its intoxicating scent profile this has cognac booze a little bit of this mandarin undertone and woods it's sexy it's unisex and it lasts literally all day to the next day on clothing so this is beastly performing fragrance in terms of the projection i would say that it's moderate giving you about two to three feet worth of scent uh, you know projection appropriate occasions for this fragrance would be dates special occasions i wouldn't necessarily say anything else really best seasons to rock this fragrance is going to be the winter and the fall time it's got date night cold weather vibes written all over it. I'm not surprised that this made it onto this list. I mean, just in the last two years, it's been one of the most raved about fragrances. It's made it to so many lists and so many people's wish lists, basically. An excellent fragrance and it deserves every bit of that top seller list thing that it's, you know, it's actually kind of surprising that this style DNA, uh, it wasn't as common before this one. You know, that syrupy, cognac -y, cinnamon, apple, such a sexy fragrance. And it is absolutely worthy of grabbing even to this very day. Next fragrance is La Nuit de Lome. Believe it or not, it is still a part of the top selling men's fragrances and rightfully so. I would just say that it's probably gonna be the 6.8 ounce because you actually have to spray this on like seven times minimum. This is a sexy fragrance around cedar wood and cardamom. It's got oriental, it's got woody, it's got sexy written all over this bad boy. In terms of the performance, you're gonna get average. If you spray it like me around eight to 12, 15 times, you're gonna get even above average, believe it or not. This is something that I've managed to squeeze anywhere from six to eight to nine hours. Let's just go ahead and put a stamp of it of average performing fragrance on this one. In terms of the projection, it's gonna be low. Low to moderate at best case. So let's just go ahead and say that it's a low projecting fragrance. Appropriate projection for what the occasions it's appropriate for. It's gonna be dates, you guys. Mostly dates and even potentially the office. So yeah, that's where I would personally recommend. In, in seasons, you could rock this during the spring, the fall, and the winter time and it'll do just fine. Just make sure you're spraying this on enough times, man. I still think it's worth it. I think it's a great fragrance. One of the sexiest men's fragrances of all time. It's just, I don't know why, just people are scared to spray. Spray this on about eight times and you're set for the entire day, minimum. And yeah, go from there. Lanui Delome, I'd still buy it and I'd buy it again and again. It's sexy as hell, man. One of the best ones.
Sauvage Elixir obviously was gonna be on this list. I mean, come on, it's one of the best elixirs that released. It's very understandable. Yes, it's a good fragrance. It's got licorice vibe. It's barbershoppy, a lot of lavender. It's this classic going to the barbershop style DNA with some masculinity to it. Uh, this one took the, the fragrance market by storm, having resemblances to Dracar Noir, etc., and uh, really doing a great job at it. The performance of this is beastly. The projection of this is also high. So check marks all over the frickin' place. Occasions for the fragrance would be probably going out with the boys, maybe even going to the office if you're spraying it less, you know, not too many times, and even to weddings because of its performance and projection, etc. I don't find that this is going to be one that you want to take to dates or the gym, gentlemen, and that's, yeah, I don't take this to dates. It's a bit too masculine. It smells good, but it's not like a panty dropper or anything like that. Most appropriate seasons are every season. You could wear it in every single season, but just be wary and cautious of, uh, of it when rocking it during the summertime, and that's pretty much it. In terms of like the price, etc., it might be something that's a bit too expensive. And there are a lot of other cheaper fragrances that I personally like, like this one. I love this fragrance. It's called Wraith by Khedlej. And this smells a lot like, it's pretty much almost like this clone, if you will, but more of a twist than that. It's got that same style DNA with a dry browning dose of vanilla and it softens out any of those harsh aspects and potentially even giving you more versatility than something like Sauvage Elixir. So Sauvage Elixir, understandable that it is one of the top selling men's fragrances, but for me personally, I like a bit more versatility and I enjoy wearing Graith even more. And this is a fragrance for like $40 or less. Check the links down in the description for all of the lowest prices for a lot of these fragrances, including these fragrances. Moving on to the next one is Stronger With You Intensely. And this has been like the TikTok fragrance of, of like 2023 to 2024. Now I can understand why this one is a top seller. It's sweet, it's gourmand, it's got chestnut, Nutella vibes, ambers, and very intense in that sweetness. The performance for me, for my bottle, this is last all day to the next day on clothing. I'm not scared of spraying this one on six times. And the projection is high it's definitely high so yeah you're getting bang for buck i definitely think so and you can find it on discounters in the description as well where uh this one is more affordable than even at retail so everything considered i still think it's worth it yes i like the original a little bit more so than all of the flankers and absolutely a bit more than this one but i've rated all of these fragrances which you can catch on my channel as well uh, of rating all of the stronger with you's this one being top three easily understandable and very deserving deserving of exactly that. So if you ask me, yes, I'd recommend that. And I'll probably continue recommending that for quite a long time. Next one, JPG's Le Mol Elixir. Believe it or not, they actually, a lot of lists were listing the Le Parfum, but more recently the Elixir has come up in the ranks. So this has got that signature JPG, you know, lavender, musk, and tonka DNA, drowning in like honey, basically, adding a raunchy, sexy vibe to it. The performance for this one is pretty beastly stuff. And the projection, is also high. I wouldn't say it's going to be the most beastly, but it's still definitely there and deserving of exactly that. Occasions for this one is almost everywhere except for something like the gym, basically. Although, although I have smelled people rocking it at the gym, I don't think it's going to be the most appropriate for the gym. And the best, best seasons for this one is going to be the winter, the fall, for the most part, and maybe even during the earlier days of spring. But that's pretty much it. I think it deserved to be on this list, genuinely. One of the best ones from JPG, even better than the Scandal uh, editions, although they do have a couple of sleepers on that list, like the Absolute. Le Mole Elixir is, is easily one of the best ones. I personally love Ultramol as one of the top. And the next one would be this one, Le Mole Elixir. Last Last but not least, this is kind of like an indication of where the market is going genuinely. And if these two weren't enough, these niche fragrances, if you will, uh, they are niche fragrances, but more on a mainstream style. This one isn't necessarily, this last one isn't necessarily niche. It's more of a designer, but this is showing like the, the taste of fragrances have become developed or they are developing significantly because Imagination is one of those as well. This is not a cheap fragrance by any means, but nor were these two. Imagination smells like this luxury, bar of soap basically in a tropical island or in, on the beach basically. So I actually just came back from Cancun, Mexico and when going into their facilities to use the restroom and washing my hands, this is what the bar of soap smelled like. So premium luxury in every good way by the way. The longevity of this is beastly. It lasts to the next freaking day easily on clothing. You're getting premium. Yes, you're paying premium but you're also getting premium. Projection for this one is also high but it's a soft 
high. Like, it's a high fragrance that's not going to like punch you in the face, but you're gonna smell somebody that's walking past you even four to five feet away. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, high dollar stuff, top shelf stuff, but it performs and acts and smells like top shelf stuff. You do have to enjoy soapy fragrances to enjoy this one though, but for the price, is it worth it? It really comes down to, uh, do you have it like that? pretty much. How much do you like soapy fragrances? Whether or not it's worth it is extremely subjective and the best way to know if it's worth it for you or not is to understand what you enjoy and the best way to also do that is by sampling fragrances. So if you have a way of sampling this one and there are a bunch of like decanting services in the description where you can try these fragrances and only you can really determine whether or not spending your money is going to be worth it in exchange for whatever you're getting. So I can't tell you whether or not it's worth it but I can tell you it's a premium smelling fragrance that gives you premium projection and performance. Quite surprised to see some of these oldies on this list, but arguably oldies are some of the best goodies, right? So uh, that is the case with a lot of these fragrances. Maybe a couple of these that I would recommend grabbing a few of their other flankers. And in the next three to five months, stay tuned because we're gonna be doing more top selling lists just like this, except that we're gonna do it from a seller's perspective. So some of the best sellers in the States and discounters, I'll be compiling lists, etc., with a bunch of numbers. And we'll be back here to talk about exactly that. And potentially do it every three to five months or so. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.